Californication. Hey hustlers, welcome back to another episode on Ingrid Project. Today I want to talk about all the reasons why I love California, aka the Bay. As some of you may know a little bit of my backstory, I moved to the Bay from the East Coast, from North Kakalake, aka North Carolina, a few years ago. And a lot of people have asked me if I've ever thought about going back to North Carolina. Um, and I just wanted to take the opportunity to talk about why I love the Bay. Now, I love the Bay for a few reasons, but I want to preface by saying that uh, I moved to the Bay for work. I work within the tech industry and this still remains to be one of the largest tech hubs in the US. I didn't plan on coming this far. Originally, I had found an opportunity in Atlanta and um, in Georgia and the same company, um, basically they moved the rec to California and that's how I ended up here, it wasn't in my plans. I had never been to California before, uh, but now that I'm here, the, you know, I mean, who knows what life is going to throw at us, but I don't foresee myself, goodness, I don't foresee myself leaving per se anytime soon. And I'll tell you why. So when I was a little bit younger in, um, in college, I studied abroad in Hong Kong and I absolutely loved it. I loved the people, the culture. Um, but my most favorite thing was that I was in this huge metropolitan city and I had the ocean, um, I had the mountains, I had the city, I had the more suburban areas, like I had everything and the weather was pretty fantastic all year round and I tried to stay in Hong Kong um, for the life of me but it was very difficult for me to find an opportunity to where I could actually stay there for like longer longer term so anyway it never happened and when the opportunity came for me to live in the Bay. Um, I mean, I just moved out here. I had never been here before. I had been here for like 12 hours for my last interview um, at the role that I had eventually taken. And I, I loved it here for more than a few reasons. I mean, first, yes, it reminded me of Hong Kong, like the mountains, the ocean, the landscape, that it doesn't snow. I do not miss shoveling snow in North Carolina. Um, but there were a, another few things I noticed very quickly in North Carolina. I, I grew up in this small town and I always felt I usually felt like the smartest person in the room, um, the person who had like dreams and ambitions and goals. And I always felt like a bit of an outcast. And when I came to the Bay, I started, it, I felt like every person I met was working on something bigger than life. Like everyone was writing a book, having their own podcast, having a side hustle, having their own business. And that really created a spark in me of, I felt like wow I have found my people and it was nice to find people cut from the same cloth um as many of you know like working within tech uh, there are like not to to my own horn but th there are some of like the brightest minds and and some of the like the you know the brightest companies that are really driving our technological future are here and so it makes sense that that type of people are here but it's not just the intellectual aspect it's the very creative aspect as well and I am a creative like I like creating content I like painting I like singing um I have a coloring book and I'm not great at any of these things, but I just enjoy it. And so it was very nice for me to come to a place where they're not only the it's like the intellectual meeting of the minds, but I found so much creativity here. Oh my gosh, like the first month that I was here, I came across so much like California, um, uh, what do they call it like basement music and I went down like a whole hip-hop rabbit hole and all of these things were just they filled up my cup so much and made me so happy um that it, it intrigued me and intrigued me and guys I will never forget on the first day like after I landed here um I had like two suitcases I took everything to my apartment I didn't have any furniture or anything so I like I just I remember I like sprawled myself out on the carpet put on my strobe lights and was just like basking in, in my light um enjoying like the sunlight coming through my window and feeling like 
mama, we made it. Um, and while I was doing that, um, I realized, oh, like I need, I need some food and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to like get a few things. So I went to Target and I don't remember what song they were playing, but they were playing like reggaeton at Target, like growing up in the South, I never had that before. So there was like really... Uh, uh, it just it completely blew my mind um, that was one of the things I really loved about being in Hong Kong too was I never felt uh, discrimination or like an outcast or like I wasn't wanted there and reggaeton at Target was something I had never heard of before in my entire life um, and I admittedly it was difficult when I went back to North Carolina the first few times to just see um to see the difference in treatment and because I grew up like that there were so many things that I saw as normal that just weren't part of my normal anymore so those are a few reasons why I love the bay of course I would be remiss to not talk about the amazing food um, some of the most amazing food I've had here is like in the bay and from from like your um like your trucks out in the street to like the paletero man coming at like 10 a.m to the michelin star restaurant and asaf oh my sons and daughters is fucking amazing um if you haven't been there you need to go which like now i'm thinking like why haven't i gone back like i'm gonna take myself out on a date and go there and yes like the food the people the art the culture and the opportunity too which i i've been to places that are beautiful um but there hasn't been a lot of opportunity and here there's so much tech opportunity startup opportunity just about anything that you can get your hands on you will find it here so if you're someone that has big dreams ambitions and you're about the hustle life i would strongly consider the bay area uh as a place for you now granted the bay area like the rest of california California is quite expensive and this is one of the more expensive areas because of folks working in tech it drives up the prices so that is something to keep in mind um, but nonetheless um, I find that you know making making sacrifices here and there it can be doable um, you know it, it can be doable if, if you want it to depending on your lifestyle and and like what you're willing to give up but i i love this place and yes i'm glad to be back so thank you to the bay for having me and thank you hustlers for supporting and if you're in the bay hit me up on ingrid project on the grammy ingrid underscore project and slide into the dms um, i'd love to meet some of you in person and yes that that is all for this video. Uh, I have a second video on things I miss about North Carolina um, because it has its charm too. So catch me there and enjoy the rest of season one.